Strange again, and today we have a matching set to my favorite gun. So let's head over to the table and check out what we got. You guys have seen this gun a lot. This is my Canic Mede SFT Miami Days, and thanks to Al at US Patriot Firearms in Jacksonville, Florida, if you pan down here, I have both of the signature series, the Canic signature series now. I have the Miami Days and the Miami Nights. This is literally, these are literally my two favorite guns now. This was my favorite, like I'm like, oh my gosh, I have the kayak, Canic Miami Days, I almost said kayak. <laughs> and now I have the Knights. And to be fully honest, it is even cooler. <laughs> There's one thing that I wish it had. I wish it had a white palm tree. So it's like a yin yang with the Miami Days. But I love these two as a set and this, I, I shoot this gun a lot. And now, I have both of them. So you know what I want to do for the first shots of What's this that? gun? What's that? A dual wield. Of course. With both of them. That sounds good. Yeah, let's get loaded up. All right. A full mag. Cool. I know I might be going a little crazy, but we have 20 in this gun and 20 in this gun. That's 40 rounds. Yeah. <laughs> my, my hands might be a little angry at me later, but yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to have fun. I might need help chambering. Right, yeah, I can close those. There you go. Oh, I, I, okay. All right. I feel like, you know what? I'm just going to try and hit all the targets. All right, there we go. All right. Malfunction there. Yep. Yeah. Here, I'll clear it for you. <laughs> Brand new gun. It's already jamming. <laughs> well, shooting it one handed. Yeah, but the left hand hasn't jammed once, although I have had this like a year longer. It has like a million rounds through it. Yeah. Oh, I hit the door tree with my left hand. Oh, stovepipe. Oh. And empty. And that one was empty too. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. That was a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. And I want more. Cool. Legit. <laughs> okay. So, again, I might be going a little bit crazy here, but I have two 10 rounds in each gun. I have 10 rounds in each gun, and I'm going to do a New York reload. First, we're going to do the Miami Days, 10 New York reload, and then we're going to do the Miami Nights. This gun is my new favorite. It's my new favorite. Also, look at this. It matches perfect. Perfect. All right. So it's going to be days, then nights. All right. All right. Ready? Ready. That's fun. Yeah. That's very fun. And you know what we have for a reactive target? What's that? Something that's moldy and it's been sitting in the shop for a while. <laughs> I'm just going to hide this real quick. So, you know what I said? Uh, we have something moldy and it's been sitting in the shop for a while. Uh, this, is, this is what I mean. <laughs> His name is Moldy the Watermelon. I'm not touching him. I've never seen a watermelon look like that. That's weird. It's been sitting in the shop for about two weeks. So <laughs> I think that's why yeah. it's all moldy. But 
we need to exterminate it. Just get it out of here. All right, we have six rounds of Hornady Handgun Hunter, 115 grain plus P, and I have both guns loaded. We have three rounds in each gun, and we are going to exterminate Moldy the Watermelon. Sounds good. His name is Moldy. I think you know why. Yeah. All right, we're going to do nights, then days this time. We're going to switch it up a little bit. All right, bit. sounds good. All right, prepare to be destroyed, Moldy the Watermelon. All right, ready? Ready. Oh! That didn't take six rounds. <laughs> no! That's gross. Usually what? watermelons don't do that. No, that thing blew up good. For one, that was a mini watermelon, and two, it's moldy, so it's a lot mushier. Must be. Okay. Yeah. Well, how Hold about on. a pineapple? Hold on. Let's go check out moldy. Okay. Oh, that's... I'm walking around that. <laughs> It doesn't look that different from a normal watermelon inside, but it's just, for one, it's a seedless, but they yeah. kind of lied a little bit. There's still seeds in it. But it's just a lot mushier. It doesn't hold its shape. It's just mush. Yeah. Yeah, let's do pineapple next. All right, so next we have, I don't know what to call you. You have mold on you as well. So let's do molden. 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 <laughs> Instead of moldy, it's molden, the pineapple, because he's got little specks here and there. This is molden the pineapple, and he is the same age as moldy the watermelon. Just doesn't look as bad. <laughs> Let's blast molden. <laughs> Since we still have five rounds of that Hornady handgun hunter left, I'm just going to shoot those <laughs> yeah. at molden. And we're going to do knights first, because it has less in it. And yeah. also, I like it better. All right. All right. Ready? Ready. Okay. Two things happened there. <laughs> One, the case hit me in the forehead. <laughs> and two, where is his head? It's on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Took I his can... head right off. Yeah. Because he's two weeks old, that's why. <laughs> Doesn't seem that old, but for a pineapple it is. Let's switch to the days. Ready? Ready. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those handgun hunters work pretty good. Yeah. I mean, usually with a handgun hunter, we usually use those. And with a pineapple, it usually takes like four or five shots to like totally obliterate it like that. But I think it's because it's so old. Yeah. That's why I just like, it's mush. Again, it's just yeah. mush. Okay. All right, for our next target, we are trying to stop a bullet and the tables have turned because we have two liters instead of something gross. But we have five two liters. Here we have one, mountain lightning flash, one, so, two, Dr. Thunder Diet Fruit, and one, Dr. Thunder Cherry Fruit, and one, Dr. Thunder Fruit. Set up over here. How did I keep moving backwards? I have no clue. But I just realized that says can instead of canic. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do a little bit of a trick shot to load into the Miami Nice, because I want to use that one instead. And we have two handgun hunters in this gun, but I want to load it into this gun. So I'm not going to do it the traditional way and probably the easier way. I'm going to eject the round, and we're going to try and catch it in the chamber of the Miami Nights. I don't know about this. <laughs> this probably won't work. What if it goes in the chamber and then falls out? Wow. It'll be like, that's one in a million. Yeah. If I don't get it in, that'll be like one in a hundred thousand. But if it bounces out, that'll be one in a million, right? <laughs> I don't know. Let's well, just get one in there. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> did it! <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Totally didn't didn't put it in there because I dropped it. No, not at all. <laughs> all right. Got one in each gun now. Yep. All right. I'm going to kneel down here. And we had those five two-liter set up down there. Let's blast them. 
Ready? Ready. Wow. That worked well. I think we stopped it. Because the last Dr. Thunder that was in the very back is unscathed. Yeah. And if it's not unscathed, it's leaking. Oh. You're safe. Cool, I got an extra two liter. Okay. And then it went mountain lighting, Dr. Thunder chip. Wait. Right here. It would stop in this one. I hear it. I hear it. Yeah, it's in there. Oh my god. Are these usually the ones that do the disappearing acts, or is it the other one? I forgot. The HSTs usually disappear. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. Now this is a lead free. Whoa. That looks, hold on, it's a little cup. That looks awesome. Neat. That is so cool. This is full copper, right? Yeah, or some kind of copper alloy. Probably, I don't know. But that looks awesome amazing yeah <laughs> all right so next thing that we're gonna do here we're gonna do a little bit of bowling me and my dad are gonna have a little bit of a friendly competition here i'm gonna have the nights he's gonna have the days and just like regular bowling it's gonna be two shots in each gun but instead of bowling balls it's gonna be bowling bullets what if there's literally a box of ammo that's mainly for shoot bowling like shooting bowling and it's called bowling bullets That'd, that'd be, be so cool. That'd be actually. cool. Yeah. You know, I want to invent that. Just it's just FMJs, but it's a cool box. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Or oh my gosh, I just had the funniest idea. So it's like a it's a circular bullet. So it's like a bowling ball, and then there's little dots on the end of the bullet. Yeah, like the finger holes. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that'd be so cute. Now I want to do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Away from my bowling ball bullet out idea. Let's shoot. <laughs> yeah. All right. My turn first. We got the Miami Knights. All right. Ready? Ready. Oh, get the spare. Nice. <laughs> spare. And I don't have to knock any over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me try. All right. All right, so my score was an eight, then a strike, or spare, I mean. Yeah, so you got a spare. Yeah, so spare, and then it is your turn. Got the Miami Days. Just look at how good that complements your outfit. That actually looks really good though. <laughs> also, speaking of my outfit, I have been trying out this gun belt from Amazon. It's a $35 gun belt. I've been trying it out for like a month. Awesome. Awesome gun belt for 35 bucks. Really cool. It's been supporting my mag pouches, my knife, and my pistol. Can't, and all your little accessories in your pants. Yeah, I can't be more pleased with it for 35 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description for this belt. Really nice. All right, so let's try this out. Let's try and get that strike. Oh, you got to be to spare. Ready? Ready. Strike. Are you serious? Got the strike. You know what uh, I was going to say? Huh. If you got if you got a spare or under, you had to give me ice cream. But if you got a strike, I would have given my I would get my own ice cream. Oh wow! Yeah. You didn't say that though. I didn't say that, so that doesn't count. <laughs> All right, now let me try this. One hand on that tiny flipper target. That's oh. only that's only a two inch circle. The on top that flip part? Yeah, the top part. Okay. It's a two inch circle. One handed. All right. Ready? Ready. Oh. I nipped it. It moved a little bit. You you hit it? I nipped it. It only moved a little though. I only barely hit it. Oh, so does that still count? I think it still counts. Okay, we'll count it. Yeah, because you did technically hit it. All right, cool. All right. All right, we have the grand finale target right here, and we are going to kind of complement his name with the rest of them because he does have a little bit of a mark of mold there. So the first target was Moldy the Watermelon. The second target was Molden the Pump... The Wait, Molden the pineapple, and then this one is Little Mold the pumpkin. All right. Because he just has a tiny, tiny bit of mold right there. Cool. So he's still fine for another few months, I think. <laughs> no, no, he's not. He's the same age as the rest, just I guess pumpkins don't go bad as fast. Yeah. Unless they're carved, then they just rot. <laughs> All right, well, let's blast him. All right, we have Little Mold set up down there, and we're going to do another New York reload. First off, I'm going to start with the Miami Days, then switch over to the Miami Knights, which is in the cross draw holster, which 
to be honest, this setup is awesome. If these were both fully loaded like they were in the beginning, I'd have 40 rounds in each gun, well, in the guns, and then I have another 80 couple, like totally. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, okay, let's destroy Little Mold. All right, ready? Ready. I hit the play behind yeah, it. Yeah, these are just FMJs. They're going right through it. Yeah. I... Ha-ha! 90's cut. <laughs> <laughs> destroyed as I kind of want him to be. So I'll be right back. I gotta grab something. Okay, cool. All right, I just head up there and grabbed a little surprise for Mr. Little Mold there. We have my Cold Steel Dragonfly Wakazashi. This thing is beautiful and it has slayed many fruit pumpkin and gourd, just like Little Mold. So, <laughs> and I know I told you that his real name was Little Mold, but that's actually just a nickname that I gave him. His real name is Steve! I'll do a slice here. Where? To chop off his little hat there. All right. All right. I'm gonna lay him on his side like that. Just a vertical chop and get his little stem. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. Just chopped off his stem. Now I put him inside and chop. We had a lot of fun messing around with my two favorite guns, my matching set. And once again, thank you so much to Al at US Patriot Firearms in Jacksonville, Florida for sending both of these over here. They are my favorite guns and I love them. So I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video just like we had a lot of fun making it. So thanks for watching Arlen's Armor and we'll see you next time.